So this is Dan Steer at the ATD Technology Conference 2015 Las Vegas with Robert Todd, Director of Learning Technologies at LinkedIn. Robert, what's on your mind at the moment when you think about learning? Uh, what's on my mind, what's, kind of what's on our mind is that uh, we think people should really be designing for getting people to do new things in the real world, to have new experiences, do something they've never done before in the world. Okay. And that, that should be the purpose of these things that we're creating. Yeah. Got a lot of learning experts here today who might say, like me, well, isn't that the whole point of learning? Isn't that what we, don't we all do? We act like that. We don't act like that. We, we act like the learning thing is the end. We measure what happens to you at the end. We, we design for the thing you're going to do in the content or the classroom or what have you. We don't design for the full experience and the feedback from, oh, I, I accomplished a new thing. I had a new experience in the real world. We don't, we don't, that's not, we talk about it, but we're not. Uh, acting like that's what we're all about. Yeah. And I just followed your session, and you were talking about the, the problem with context, the problem between high and low context. What's yeah, I mean, it's kind of related to this notion that it, um, we focus that our focus is on the, the learning activity. We try to build all this context into that activity instead of um, using the context of work, the, using the context of of our real world. Using if you know we're talking about uh, personal development, using the context of our careers to uh, that to be the context and, and, uh, and we build it in to the learning content and that makes the learning content expensive and brittle and not reusable and not super good on mobile devices and all kinds of things that we want it to be. So yeah. problematic. And so you've got a better approach to that. Better, well the better approach is, yeah, uh, is to really focus on defining lots of really excellent granular kind of atomic learning experiences that do that are about one thing, one learning outcome, one sort of subject, and then having the context be very light and grouping things together in sort of a very light editorial approach to content. Yeah, and so where does the high context come from later then? Uh, the world, life. I mean, that's where, that's where the real context is, right? That, that's where the stuff that matters is. That's what the, the context that gets us, you know, really like to care about stuff, right? Yeah, That's the yeah. context we care about. And I just followed your session. Thank you very much. It was very good. So I've also made some notes about how you're supporting the sharing of context with the experts in the field, how you're going about uh, getting people to do missions to transfer that learning to the yeah. workplace. How's it going at LinkedIn? Uh, 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 well, I mean, we had the, 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 the problem at LinkedIn is focus, right? We have so many things we like to do, so many things we're already doing. Um, and um, and the firm is you know growing so fast that uh, it's just about uh, being focused and really uh, making sure that we um, take the time to get it right each time. Nice, Robert. Thank you very much for taking my time. Uh, taking you. my time. Taking the time. I'm happy to take your time. <laughs> nice. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks very much.